Glory, glory, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you for connecting with us on this day number four of our prayer and fasting, taking charge of 2022. In the name of Jesus, we are not just passing through the year, we are occupying, we are taking charge in the name of Jesus, and not on our own, with God's backing in the name of Jesus. Hence, we are concluding this January with prayer and fasting, appealing to God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory in the name of Jesus. A better year than before. Good things being drawn to you than before in the name of Jesus. Excellent year than before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's shall we open in a word of prayer where you are. Let us begin just to appreciate God, the goodness of the Lord, the power of God, who God is. Just for a few uh, second or minute or so, just utter word of praise, word of worship before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we raise a praise to you. We raise a worship to you, the God who inhabit eternity, the God whose name is is holy, the only true God. All other gods of other people are idol, but you are the living God. You are the mighty God. You are the sovereign God. You are the creator, O oh God. You that the king of glory, the king eternal. Of your kingdom there shall be no end. Your reputation, your fame, your reign is throughout all ages. You are God beyond the time. You are the eternal one. You are God who was in the beginning before any beginning began. For you are God. There is no one like you. You are the creator of everything. This day we raise a praise. This day we raise a worshiper. This day we raise a thanksgiving to you, O God, for bodily strength, for the grace to pray and to fast, for the grace to hear your word 
in the name of Jesus. To you be the praise, the prayer hearing call, the prayer answering call. Receive worship, receive adoration in this day in the name of Jesus. Let this be a day of blessing again into somebody's life. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to Jesus in the name of Jesus. On day number four of these seven days of prayer and fasting, we're starting with your scripture here as we pray and trusting God for his backing, trusting God that his word will become a reality in our lives every single month of this year in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in uh, Third John, Third John chapter one and verse number two. Third John chapter number one and verse number two. The Bible says, "Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health." Just as your soul prosper. Hallelujah. Beloved, I pray. Now we are personalizing it here. It's a prayer now to you to set this scripture to become a reality in your life in this year in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things, not in something to be able to prosper in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus in this year. We pray and be in health just as your soul prosper. It's holistic. It's covering every aspect of your life, every aspect of your being, being to thrive this year, to excel this year, to prosper this year. That what we are praying this day at this hour in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you may prosper in all aspects. Are you hearing me, uh, Leslie? That you may prosper, Leslie. That you may prosper in all aspects. Not one area of your life is prospering and this other area are not. But we are trusting God as per the scriptures that have become a reality in our lives in the mind name of Jesus to prosper to do well to excel to succeed to thrive to increase to gain in every aspect of your life in the year 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus because the desire of God is that his people may prosper and do well in the name of Jesus scripture number two says uh, in Psalms 35 and verse number 27. Psalm 35 and verse number 27 says, Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, not once off, continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Hallelujah. Let the Lord be magnified. Psalms 35 and verse number 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Hallelujah. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Glory to the Lord. That is the scripture. So the desire of God is for you to prosper. Is for you to do well. God, when God's people are prospering and thriving, in this case, in even in all aspects of their life, it is a delight before God. And she said, God has, a, has pleasure 
in the prosperity of his servant. The Lord has pleasure in your prosperity. The Lord delight in your prosperity. The Lord delight when you do well. The Lord delight when you succeed. The Lord delight when you are increasing, not being stagnant. The Lord has pleasure when you excel. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, you and I, the servant of God, the people of God. God delights in the prosperity of his people in the name of Jesus. When you do well, as a circle. That word delight, God is delighted in that in the name of Jesus. Scripture number three, then we begin and, and, and with our prayer. Scripture number three in Job uh, chapter 36 and verse number 11. Job 36 and verse number 11. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. When you are prospering portion, the Lord has pleasure in that. When you are increasing, the Lord is delighted in that in the name of Jesus. When you are excelling, when you are excelling in every aspect of your life, it is a delight before God. Nangamso, in the mighty name of Jesus. So hence we are praying for the Lord, the manifestation of the promises of God upon your life, upon our lives. In this year, in the name of Jesus, we bring a scripture to may raise our faith, bring understanding so that we call upon the name of the Lord with understanding and faith in him according to his word in the name of Jesus. Scripture number three, Job 36 and verse 11 says, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and they are years in pleasure. Glory to the Lord. If they obey and serve him, they obey and serve the Lord. They obey God. They embrace the Lord. They follow the ways of God. They are serving God in different capacity as God has gifted them, talented them, resourced them, capacitated them so that they may bring glory to God. When they serve the Lord and when they obey God, one of the, 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 the things that come upon their life, it is called them spending their days in prosperity in the name of Jesus. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. So we are asking God, may we spend this year of 2020 22 in prosperity in the name of Jesus in prosperity in the name of Jesus in this year that we are entering as we pray glory to Jesus now the scripture we read the first scripture third John chapter 1 and verse number glory 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 first John chapter uh, 1 and verse 3 if you can put it up again there it says beloved I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prosper. To show us the desire, the biblical prosperity is a prosperity in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. It is not one dimensional, it is multidimensional. Prosperity spiritually, prosperity psychologically, prosperity in relationship, prosperity in your body, soundness of health, prosperity in relationship, prosperity financially, prospering in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. And that's what God desires for us in the name of Jesus. So as we begin to pray, bringing this 
quick word of exhortation to, me, to lead us into prayer. Prayer number one, because one of the aspects of prosperity, it is spiritual prosperity. To prosper spiritually, to prosper spiritually, it is demonstrated by your closeness and your, uh, your proximity, your intimacy with the Lord and the Holy Ghost. How you interact with God, how you follow the ways of God. So we are praying that that area that the Lord will empower you to excel in the name of Jesus. Pros prospering spiritually shows how fruitful and effective is your Christian life. What I am saying in terms of spiritual prosperity, it is at the base of every of these other elements we will look at and pray on. And we are starting with this one, spiritual prosperity, because it has a base. When somebody is flourishing, prospering and, and having a fruitful walk with God, it is a matter of time for this other area of, uh, of their lives to start increasing, to start aligning to the counsel of God in the name of Jesus. So, spiritual prosperity is very critical. And when you look at the scripture, talking about the blessed man in Psalm uh, chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, talking about the blessed man who delight in the ways of the Lord, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And the Bible say in the last part of verse 3, and whatever he does shall prosper. Why? Because at the base, the spiritual prosperity is there and bringing now fruit of this other area in the name of of Jesus. So we're going to pray for spiritual prosperity, number one, that the Lord will empower your life to prosper spiritually in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will empower your spiritual life, number one, in the mighty name of Jesus. So begin to pray. We are praying. We're going to touch on a, a, a couple of dimensions, but dimension number one, I want us to begin with because that is at the base. It is our spiritual prosperity, our relationship with God, how fruitful it is, how, how we nature that relationship, how we fellowship with the Lord, how do we, do we get closer with the Holy Spirit, how are we being led by the Holy Spirit, how close are we accepting and embracing and obeying the ways of God in the name of Jesus. So I want us to begin to pray that the Lord will empower you that you may have a fruitful personal relationship with God in this year of 2022 in the name of Jesus. A fruitful personal relationship with the Lord in this year in the name of Jesus. So we are asking God for his empowerment, his enablement, God to give you the capacity for a personal fruitful relationship with him in the name of Jesus. So let us begin to pray. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus for a fruitful personal relationship with you in this year in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Because almighty God to prosper, your, your word has said, draw closer unto me, draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you. We pray, oh God, for a close relationship, intimate relationship with you, fruitful relationship with you, in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, that your people, almighty God, will be empowered by you, Father, for a fruitful relationship, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the men and women at this hour connected the Lord, I pray for a fruitful person a relationship. Let them excel spiritually. Let them understand the spiritual matter. Let them understand the spiritual principle. In the name of Jesus, we pray for a closer relationship with God in this year, Almighty God. So I pray for every life, a closer relationship with God. I pray for every life, a closer relationship with God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for a closer relationship I pray for the grace of the, uh, to yield to the word of God, to follow the instruction, to embrace what God is saying. I pray in the name of Jesus that your people will be able to hear your voice, that their spirit ear will be 
sensitive to hear the voice of the Holy Ghost. Uh, that their eyes will see your glory. I pray for spiritual prosperity, closeness with God, fruitful work with God, personal relationship with God that is fruitful. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord will empower you in prayer, in prayer, that your prayer altar be of fire, that you may receive revelation, you may receive revelation from the Lord in the name of Jesus, that you may be empowered in prayer, that prayer that move a mountain, prayer that turn around the situation, prayer that release a breakthrough, may you be empowered in your spiritual walk, a spiritual prosperity, may you thrive in your relationship with the Lord, Father that is our prayer, hear our intercession, hear supplication of God, a thriving relationship with you in 2022, knowing God in 2022, be a person of prayer, in 2022, be a person of the word in 2022, knowing God in 2022, hearing the voice of God in 2022, being led by the Spirit of God in 2022. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. That your walk will be fruitful. Your walk will excel. You will prosper spiritually. You will hear God. You will be led by the Holy Spirit. There will be closeness with God. There will be intimacy with God. That what we are praying in the name of a closer relationship with God. Personal and fruitful relationship with God. In the name of Jesus. That the Lord will touch your life and empower you with the grace of prayer. When you call upon the Lord, he will respond. He said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know according to Jeremiah. So we pray that you shall, you shall experience the grace of prayer. There will be another level of prayer than it was the previous year. The grace to pray. The grace to pray. Prayer with answer. Prayer that moves a mountain, a prayer that opens doors, a prayer that releases a breakthrough, prayer that stops the work of darkness, a prayer that intercepts the devices of darkness against your life, that God will empower you to excel. May you prosper spiritually in 2022 in the name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory in the name of of Jesus, spiritual prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, may I prosper spiritually. May you touch my walk. May you energize my walk. Let my prayer altar be of fire, be of signs, be of wonders. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, energize somebody's prayer altar with fire. Let them rise up and pray. Let them be strengthened by prayer and fasting. Let them hear your voice, oh God. Let them know you intimately, know you better than they have known you before. In 2022, they prosper spiritually. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prosper. It is holistic in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord that the Lord shall empower you to prosper. Hallelujah. We are taking it like that. If we're not finishing tomorrow, we continue. You cannot miss tomorrow in the name of Jesus. But we're continuing as the Lord lead us. I, I just pray that you may have this experience. Why am I insisting on this? Because to prosper spiritually, it is at the base. It is at the base. It is at the foundation. That it is the foundation that holds the pillar of the other uh, of the other aspect of prosperity spiritual prosperity is at the base when somebody is a prospering and excelling spiritually it's creating a foundation to hold the pillar of finances the pillar of emotion the pillar of relationship and spiritual prosperity is key to prosper spiritually by the power of God in the name of Jesus may you prosper in 2022, spiritually. 
in the name of Jesus. May you thrive spiritually. The Lord empower you to hear his voice. The Lord empower you to hear because when you can hear God's voice and be led by him, then you are not just walking and going places anyhow. You are following instruction. You are here because God is all-knowing. When he say go this way, he knows it is for your good. When he say engage in this deal, he knows it's for your good. And to be able to be hearing and be led by God and so we are praying for empowerment to prosper spiritually so you may reach a level of it where you are spiritually sensitive to the voice and the leading of God where you are empowered to pray you are not lazy to pray where you understand what the word of God say and apply it you are not thinking twice when it has hit your heart and said this is indeed the word of God the voice of God and you have seen in scripture. You move and apply because you want to prosper spiritually and bring a base, a foundation for this other area to excel in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Glory, glory. It says, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health just as your soul prosper. The other very critical aspect of our prosperity is in relation to mind. We are taking it slowly. Please, you need to be connected so that you understand the whole counsel. We are bringing the whole counsel and pray in line with the word of God. It is not only on finances. We will get there shortly soon we will get there but we want to cover this aspect because you have to prosper in all aspects in everything not only financially and materially but spiritually and so your mind be prospering prospering psychologically number two we are going to deal with prosperity psychologically psychological prosperity prospering in your mind prospering mentally it means having under Understanding, you are not just you, you, you are having understanding, comprehension. God is empowering you with intelligence, with creativity in the name of Jesus to prosper. Uh, 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 mentally it means you, you, you've you got a sound mind it means your mind is renewed and empowered by God to generate godly ideas I am being empowered by God I think straight I have a sound mind there is intelligence in the world they can say this person has brain but we are praying from the spiritual aspect meaning let God be the one inspire and empowering you oh, psycho uh, uh, psychologically in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Somebody who is not in the right state of mind, they, it affects their decision making. It affects the, them from being rational. Hence, we pray for the state of mind that is in power, energized by God in the name of Jesus, being empowered by God. Because when the mind you, is prospering, when you are prospering psychologically, it means God is empowering you with creativity. Is giving you idea, idea, innovation. And when you apply those ideas, you implement them. They resolve issues, challenges that people are facing or you are facing in your life in the name of Jesus. Hence, we are praying that the Lord may empower you in, in your mind in the name of Jesus. So we pray, let your mind prosper in this year in the name of Jesus. Let your mind prosper. Begin to pray, Father, let my mind prosper. Empower me with godly idea. Empower me with soundness of mind. Empower me with retentive memory. Let me have understanding, comprehension. Let me be sharp, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Those are the prayer. Begin to pray, Father, that we raise a prayer before you and the intercession on behalf of your people that you may empower them Lord with understanding in the mighty name of Jesus son of the living God let them walk with oh God in, with soundness of mind redemptive memory let their mind think straight let their mind think straight let their mind be renewed
renewed day by day. Let their mind be renewed and empowered by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for positive thinking in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. The mind that remember, I pray for every life here today. Let their mind remember. Let their mind be sound. So I pray for soundness of mind, creativity upon Hillary in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for soundness of mind upon your life, innocent creativity. Are you able to generate idea, implementable idea that change our lives, bring a solution? Oh, in the name of Jesus, I pray for soundness of mind upon your life, innocent. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray for every life that you may give them innovation in this year. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we say in the prayer, Father, that, that your spirit, you may empower them to prosper psychologically. Let them have a retentive memory with not a, re a forgetful mind, but a retentive memory by the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O King of glory, retentive memory, soundness of mind in the name of Jesus. Soundness of mind in the mighty name of Jesus. A mind that is sound. A mind that remembers. A mind that is led by the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Renewed by God. According to his word. Empowered by him. In the name of Jesus. A prospering mind in 2022. In the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. A prospering mind. In the name of Jesus. A mind that is sound. Let that be your portion. Throughout this year. In the name of Jesus. A mind that is empowered by God. To think straight. To think positive. As a man thinketh. So is he. Let that mind be empowered by God. To thrive. To excel. To prosper. In the name of of Jesus to be able to think straight in the name of Jesus glory to the Lord in Jesus name amen we are continuing hallelujah to the glory of God I want us to pray there is another aspect be, uh, that we, we cannot neglect in our lives because we want to be prospering in every aspect of our lives we have touched the spiritual. We have touched the, 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 the mind, the, 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 the psychology of, 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 of your life in the name of Jesus. We want to touch the emotional aspect because this one brings a lot of pains and cause people to carry over things. And as we pray on this aspect of emotion, whatever pains, hurt, and disappointment, we are not carrying them over here. We are trusting God to, for healing, for recovery, and a well-being emotion, well-being, being emotionally in a well-being state in the name of Jesus. To prosper emotionally is being in, in, a, in a state of well-being, in a state where you are free from constant negative emotion. So we are praying here today in the name of Jesus that in this year of 2022, by the power of God, by the spirit of the Lord, that God will touch your heart, will touch your emotion to be free from constant anger, free from constant anxiety, ex constant uh, 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 worry, that you may be free from those and the effect of those things in the name of Jesus, because there is a scripture in Proverbs 12 and verse 25 say, anxiety in the heart of men causes depression, but a good word makes it hard. Now, depression being the, 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 the negative consequences of a constant negative emotion in the life of a person. So we are praying that the Lord will touch your emotion and cause them to prosper in the name of Jesus. You may be free from 
constant anxiety. Are you hearing? I know you can get angry, but I am talking about being in a state where you are angry for an extended period of time. Constantly, the whole month you are angry. It is affecting your emotion. It is affecting your thinking capability. And so we are praying that the Lord may touch your emotional being in the mighty name of Jesus to be free from pain, free from anxiety, free from hurt, free from all this negative emotion in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want us to pray. Pray for emotional well-being in my life, oh Lord, in this year. That is the prayer emotional well-being in your life in this year in the name of Jesus let us begin to pray Father we pray in the mighty name of Jesus for emotional well-being in the name of Jesus oh God that somebody may be healed from pain not to carry negative constant negative emotion let somebody be free from pain let somebody be free from anxiety let somebody be free from disappointment let somebody be free from hurt, to carry hurt, to carry disappointment, anxiety with them in the name of Jesus. We pray let somebody be freed, oh God. They are not crossing over and carrying negative emotion, moving in 2022 with hurt, bitterness, and anxiety. May the power of God bring healing. May the power of God bring healing. May the power of God bring emotional healing in the name of Jesus. May you be healed emotionally by the power of God in the name of Jesus. For the Lord heals the broken hearted and bind up their wound according to Psalm 147 verse three. May you be healed emotionally. Anyone under constant emotional negative emotion, I pray may you be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord calls you to come in a state of emotional well-being, prospering emotionally. May your emotion be in majority positive in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every life. Let them be touched emotionally. Let them be touched emotionally. Let them be touched emotionally. Let them be touched emotionally in the name of Jesus. We pray that the Lord may free you from hurt, disappointment, pains that they might have happened in the previous year. May you recover through this prayer and fasting. That is, you proceed throughout 2022. You are proceeding in an emotional well-being, in a state of emotional well-being in the name of Jesus. We are not carrying over whatever the pain of 2020, the hurt and disappointment of 2015, because the relationship broke down and did not and uh, did not amount to anything and brought pain. The separation brought pain. We are trusting God here now. May you be healed emotionally, so that you may move on in life and excel in the name of Jesus. Let not emotional hurt, anger, resentment, bitterness close you at the doors in the name of Jesus. Let them not close at the doors in the name of May you be free. May the Lord free you emotionally. So I, I, this one is not going. So I want us to pray where you are, be sincere with the Lord. Lord, I pray may you heal me emotionally. Heal me against any hurt. Heal me against any resentment. Heal me against any bitterness. Heal me against hurt and disappointment. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I don't want to carry this baggage throughout 2022. I want, don't want the hurt, negative emotion to be a barrier, a healing hindrances to my divine connection, to my divine opening, to my divine doors. I don't want this thing to cloud, Lord, my life in this year. I pray for your healing. Begin to pray. Father, let there be a healing. Let the healing power of God flow into this life broadcast in the name of Jesus. Let somebody be healed, oh God, emotionally. Father, from any hurt, disappointment, 
pains because of deals that did not work. Pains because of the relationship that turned sour. Pains because of the oh the heart that the children brought into their lives and the, the, the thing the children did and brought pain. I pray, Lord, for healing. May Lord, may you heal somebody. May you, you heal somebody, oh God, for you heal the broken hearted and bind up their wound. Let somebody be free from hurt. Let there be a flow of the healing power of God. Emotional healing taking place now. Somebody recovering from pain now. May you recover from hurt now. May you recover from disappointment now. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord touch your life. Father, may you touch any heart be touched by you. Let there be a flow of healing. Healing power of God. Healing power power of God for emotions that are negative and stay in somebody's life affecting their confidence. Mm because of emotional hurt your confidence is being affected. So we pray that the Lord may touch your life. <coughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let there be healing, oh God. Let there be healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Any emotional hurt that has placed heaviness on somebody's life. Let them be freed now. I pray for freedom. I pray for deliverance. Be healed emotionally. Be healed emotionally. Be healed emotionally. Let resentment depart from your life. Anybody who's locking your heart because of how they hurt you, I pray may you free them. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Your heart belongs to the Lord. Your heart belongs. Let not any other person be locked in there because of how they hurt you, how they disappoint you. We pray let them be let go. Let them go. By the power of God, be freed, be delivered in the name of Jesus. The Lord Lord, heal you. Korosa kataba. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be healed emotionally. May you be healed emotionally. May you be healed from any pain, any pain, pain. Oh, satakataba sakotoba. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be healed from pain. May you be healed from hurt. We have crossed over to this year. We are not carrying over any hurt, any disappointment. We are not carrying over because these things, they cloud somebody's life. They affect affect your judgment. They affect you from being rational and making the right decision because you are clouded emotionally. So we pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Healing, healing, emotionally healing. Oh Lord, I pray. One of the areas that bring emotions, hurt, is relationship. How things broke in the past. But the, the heart stays in the heart. You are not moving. As we are praying for you to prosper emotionally, one of the ways is to let go. One of the ways is to trust God to say, Lord, I am releasing this person. They hurt me. I pour my heart into their lives, but they hurt me. I, I trusted them. But they disappointed me and betrayed me. And then it has brought heaviness, negative emotion within you. And because of that, you may not see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. As we are praying at this hour... As we are trusting God that in 2022, you may prosper emotionally. One of the, 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 the things to do first is to trust God. That you may be healed from hurt, past hurt, past disappointment, brought because of relationship. I am hearing that. Because of relationship. Let the Lord bring healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Please pray. I know. Please pray in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to call your name at this hour on this matter as being sensitive. I just pray. Pray where you are for, for, for healing emotionally against hurt because of the previous relationship, because of how things went sour. Father, we pray for healing 
in the mighty name of Jesus of the living God. Let the Lord bring healing in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord bring healing in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord bring recovery in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord bring healing against hurt, pains, disappointment. Oh God, because of betrayal, because of the betrayal in the relationship, may the God who heals the broken hearted heal your life now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be healing. Oh great physician, may you touch somebody's emotion at this hour. Oh great physician, may you heal somebody from pain. Oh great physician, may you heal somebody and remove the heart from their heart in the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. As your scripture say, Father, oh, you heal the broken hearted and bind up their wound. Let there be emotional healing. Any negative side effect, consequences because of the negative emotion law that may bring depression, we pray for healing in Jesus' name. May you recover from depression. May you recover from constant negative emotion by the power of God in the mighty the name of Jesus. The Lord touch your life. Glory to the Lord. The Lord touch your life in the name of Jesus. Emotional healing in the name of Jesus because they cloud your life. You may not see that a better relationship will come because this one brought hurt and it has cloud you. And any other relationship that may try to come your way, you close it out. Why? Because of the hurt of the previous relationship. Hence, we are trusting God to bring healing in your life emotionally. That the negative emotions, hurt, because of hurt and disappointment, leave your life in the name of Jesus. May you be brought by the Lord into a state of emotional well-being. Where emotionally you are in a good state. In the name of Jesus. That word we are asking God. So that you can excel even in other areas. And not emotional heart brings and close doors in the name of Jesus. Because you are hurting. We are praying, may you prosper emotionally. We are praying, may you excel emotionally. We are praying, may you be freed by the power of God from constant negative emotion in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord intervene in your life and bring you in a state of well, emotional well-being where you are free from hurt. Where you are free from constant anger. Free from constant bitterness. May the Lord bring healing in the name of Jesus. Free from hurt and let go. The anxiety. The Bible says cast your cares upon him. For he cares for you. Hence my prayer we are saying Lord. All these things we throw them to you. Bring healing in my life. Let me be. Re oh let me recover. May this year may I prosper emotionally. May I be in a well state emotionally. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you heal me Lord. Heal me and I will be healed. Restore me and I will be restored. In the name of Jesus. Let it be so. Glory, glory, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray anyone under attack emotionally. The enemy is using negative emotion to frustrate somebody's life. I pray for every person here today that, Lord, the attack of darkness that brings constant negative emotion... Be defeated in the name of Jesus. Be defeated in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has bottled up somebody through unforgiveness because of hurt, because of resentment, we pray, Lord, by your power, let them have the grace to release in the name of Jesus. Release the person. Release the hurt by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Unforgiveness. 
and forgiveness become a hindrance even to prayer. He said, if you do not forgive, and your heavenly father also will not forgive. And, and forgiveness brings negative emotion. We want to prosper emotionally. So any unforgiveness, number one, it, it clouds your mind. It, it, number two, it affects your relationship with God because your prayer are being hindered. So as we pray, free the person in the mighty name of Jesus. And when it comes to forgiveness, it's not about them. It is about you. When it comes to forgiveness, it is about you. It is not them. It is about you. I was the victim. Yes, it's about you. Then they hurt me. Yes, it is about you. Forgiveness, it is about you. When you let God, when you let go, you have opened a channel for God fellowship. When you let go, you have opened a channel for answered prayer. When you let go, you have opened a channel for other things that to come your way because you have let go. So I pray that the Lord may remove any unforgiveness in your life in the name of Jesus. Because this year we are taking charge. We are occupying. We don't want to be hindered by negative emotion. We don't want to be hindered because of unforgiveness. Whoever is locked in your heart because of hurt, betrayal, they do not belong there. Your heart is too precious to keep them there. So now here receive healing. By the power of God, let healing come. Let me you recover emotionally. May you recover emotionally. May you let them go. Father, I pray for the, your grace upon somebody to let go, to forgive, to let go, to forgive, to let go in the name of Jesus. Let the person be free out of their heart in the name of Jesus. Let the person be freed from their lives in the name of Jesus. Let them recover in Jesus' name. Let emotional well-being come. Let them thrive now emotionally by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Let them be touched by God in the name of Jesus. Let them prosper emotionally in the name of Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Before we do the last, we have not even done. We need to through his by the Lord instruction and dwell on the aspect of finances. So tomorrow we need to continue with those two or three more aspects. Include the financial grace from the Lord in the name of Jesus. We want to trust God. The things of having mouth to uh, hand to mouth. May this year, may there be a turnaround. We want to trust God that are to be in power so that you are not in a state where you are working as an elephant, but you are eating as an ant. We don't want to be that in 2022. So we want to trust God in that way, in the mighty name of Jesus. Tomorrow, you don't want to miss. We want to trust God by his power, by prayer and fasting. Even as we conclude on Sunday, that Lord, let there be a grace. May a financial door open in the mighty name of Jesus for somebody's life in the name of Jesus. That's what we are doing tomorrow. And the other instruction is we trust God and pray for that. When it's come to the issue of finances, you even prepare a seed according to how God ministered to your heart. And say, Lord, may this seed... As I conclude prayer and fasting on Sunday, by this seed, let any siege against my life financially be broken in the name of Jesus. So the seed will not be casual. It must be something that means something to you first before it can be a sacrifice. Let it mean something to you first. May he say, Lord, by prayer, by fasting, and by this seed, any siege against my life financially be broken in the name of Jesus as we conclude with this prayer and fasting. May I prosper financially in 2022. May financial doors open for my life in 2022 in the name of Jesus. We are tackling that area tomorrow. You don't want to miss. Let's trust God. 
for opportunity to open up. And if you are owed money, they are not releasing a payment for you. Shall we call upon the God of Israel by his power? Let the gate be open. Let there be a release. Whoever has to sign, has to sign for what is yours to be released into your life in the name of Jesus. Whoever has to sign, has to sign. Let the Lord touch their heart, coordinate the activity for them to sign that your fund be released. The money belonging to you be released in the name of Jesus. We are approaching God tomorrow and touch on that dimension of prosperity, financial prosperity and the other aspect we did not touch in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow is Friday, day number five. Are we asking God to move in the supernatural in that area of our lives in the name of Jesus? So tomorrow you have to connect. And for some as the Lord is ministering as I have said this, you prepare, you say, Lord, as this seed go before your altar. I am trusting you. May there be a difference this year financially. If things were tough, tight, hand to mouth, Lord, if I'm tired, if you are the person, oh Lord, please follow this instruction. If you are the person where when it's come already on the fourth or on the fifth of the month, the money is gone. You are start thinking, when is my next pay? May you be that person where you cry out to God for his intervention in the name of Jesus. Where you work as an elephant, but you eat as an ant. We want to tackle those areas tomorrow. Ponder on it in the day. Trust God by prayer. Trust God by prayer. Lord, I am trusting you. May there be a change in my life. I am trusting you by this seed I am raising, Lord, as the Lord minister to you. May there be a change in my finances in the name of Jesus in this year of 2022. That is what we are saying to the Lord tomorrow. As we trust God and touch on that area of financial prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we conclude on Sunday, let the Lord have his way. May there be a change in the name of Jesus. We don't want to be in a situation where things are tough. They were tough in 2019. They are were tough in 2020. They are were tough in 2021. Are you not bothered that this thing cannot continue that way. But there will be a change in 2022. That's what we are approaching God. According to his word. According to his principle. Let him intervene. In the name of Jesus. That's what is happening tomorrow. Father I pray for every life. Here today that you may touch their lives. Here today that you may touch their lives. In the name of Jesus. Father they may you may energize their spiritual life. May it be empowered spiritually in the name of Jesus. May be, be prosper and thrive spiritually in the name of Jesus. May they experience, oh God, a fruitful relationship with you in this year in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray let them have the grace of prayer that bring revelation from the throne of grace. Call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So I pray for every life. Let it be so in Jesus' name. I pray let their mind be touched by God to think straight, be renewed and empowered by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let there be understanding, intelligence, oh, in the name of Jesus, Son of the living, innovation in their lives, oh God, creativity in this year, in the name of Jesus and let somebody be in a well in a state of well-being emotionally that their heart have been taken out disappointment removed they are not carrying over baggages of negative emotion in 2022 oh God that by your healing power let the person be healed 
Thank you that you have healed some on this platform. Thank you that you have healed a life here today. Receive a praise, receive a worship in the name of Jesus. Give us the grace of prayer once again for tomorrow on day number five that your name may be glorified. Preserve your people this night. Preserve them in the night. Preserve them, O oh God, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Tomorrow we are continuing. Remain blessed and preserve. Shalom, shalom, shalom. <laughs>